Well, howdy, folks. January 17th, 2023. Um, let me first start by apologizing for the video that I deleted. I thought after I posted it, it was kind of inappropriate to whine about my dog that passed away on Friday the 13th. Here I am on the 17th, not nearly over it, but... Um, the video was supposed to be about the John Deere 1050 hydraulic uh, lever conversion from the two stick to a joystick. As I mentioned in that last video, someone reached out to me. His name is John. He's from down south in the Carolinas. He sent me a bunch of pictures, a video, actually a couple of videos, a parts list, and I could not be more appreciative of that. Where I showed in the last video that I was going to put the joystick on the fender, he set me straight. And what I'm going to wind up doing is following his procedures. It's the pictures that I saw, and it's one of the most cleanest installs that I've ever seen as far as hydraulics go. I'm going to wind up putting the joystick in the same location as the dual stick that comes from the factory for a bucket loader. He sent me a parts list and again, John, thanks buddy. It's, it's extremely generous of you to take your time to do this for me. So I ordered the parts that he recommended and because I don't have a lot of faith in technology and machinery. I did order a few more pieces than I needed. So they came today. And this is from, um, you know what, I will put where I got this in the description in case anybody is following this and wants to do it themselves. But the parts came today and we're going to unbox them and have a look and see if what I ordered is what's in the box. He sent me a video of his tractor, which is a 1050, operating with this conversion. Actually, I won't put a description. This is where it came from, Surplus Center. And like I said, he really, really did a great job of converting the two stick to the joystick which is the same exact controller that I did in a previous video or showed in a previous video and yeah there's a lot of little parts and they sent me a catalog nice So here's my parts bag, and as I said, I ordered, I think, other than the quick connects, one extra of everything, just in case there was an issue with the threads and so forth. Last thing I need is to be in the middle of this and find out that I've got a buggered up thread and uh, I can't continue. So. We have Quick Connects. I only ordered what I needed or what I was told I needed. And these are really nice. They're a little bit pricey, but they come with the fitting that goes into the Quick Connect. So I think this is going to work out really well. And again, I'm going to be, of course, making a video on the placement and assembly of this joystick controller. And I will put a parts list in based on what I actually use. Yeah, I wish I could do this tonight. I'm really excited. This is, this is going to be cool. 
There's a lot of um, fittings and adapters and so forth, but I just wanted to make this quick video to show where I'm going with this and to extend my apologies for bringing my, um, my dog Cato into the mix. I, I do apologize for that. No one wants to hear about, you know, your deceased pets when you're doing a, um, a video about a tractor. So, this is where I'm at, and I will keep you guys updated. I, I just want to keep everybody in the loop. This is progressing. I will need to get a couple of hydraulic hoses, and I talked to a local guy who makes hydraulic hoses, and he said, for whatever reason, he is ridiculously busy. So, I'm probably going to wind up hopefully they have the right fitting ends on the hoses but I don't care what the cost is and not that I'm a rich guy I just want to get this done but I'm probably going to wind up going to tractor supply and getting the hoses that I need uh, I know for sure that you know if they have them in stock then then I'll be good to go I, I'm not sure about my local guy and he kind of worried me with what he said so just a quick update, and yeah, there'll be more videos, including making the plate to mount the uh, the joystick lever via John's uh, specifications, and I think this is going to go really well, and it's going to be really, I don't want to say really easy, but it's going to be much easier than I thought it would be mounting it on the fender. And the holes that I drilled in the fender, that's cool because I wanted a cup holder on my tractor so I will make some kind of a cup holder up and who knows maybe that'll be a future video but anyway guys enjoy your evening I just got home from work half an hour or so ago and the parts were on my deck they just kind of threw the box up there but it wasn't snowy or rainy so everything remained dry and clean but uh, yeah, stay tuned, and there will definitely be more videos to follow on this upgrade, and we'll talk soon. You guys have a great night, and take care now.